Alright, hello everyone, my name is you and welcome to Better Gaming. So to update your Nintendo Switch to the version 20.2.0, um, in custom firmware-wise and also original firmware-wise, you would need to connect your microSD card with your computer. I'm gonna do this here over Hecate. And while we're doing this, we also want to open up the Telegram, because I just made like a very, very neat and easy all-in-one package. So what you would need to do is to click on the link inside the description, you will get here. You want to click here on the pinned message, okay, just, just once then view the group because it will just jump into another group where you are able to download the homebrew packs here. Okay, and as you can see, it's just called 20.2.0. And once you have that downloaded, you will get a um, zip file out of it and you want to open that up and you want to drag that 20.2.0 uh, out of the zip file. What you will get is a folder, which is looking like this. And then here, this here right now is our Nintendo Switch or micro SD card of our Nintendo Switch connected with our computer. And we would want to open the folder, which we just took out of the zip. And before we put everything here inside, we want to firstly uh, delete the atmosphere folder. And then we want to copy paste everything here over. If it asks you to replace stuff, just click on replace the files. And then we want to eject our micro SD card so that we can go back to our switch. Put, make sure that your micro SD card is back into your switch and go into Hecate. And once you're in Hecate, you want to go here to launch and you want to make sure that you choose your sysnant or imunant, whatever you want to update. This time I want to update my sysnant, so I'm going to click on custom firmware sysnant. Okay, once you're here on your switch, you want to go here to your album, open that up. And then you would want to search for Daybreak, open that up. And then you click on install and then firmware 20.2.0 and then continue, preserve settings, install FAT32 plus XFAT, continue and then let it install the new firmware. And then at the very end you want to click on reboot. Okay, once you're here inside you want to reopen where you updated just to verify that everything worked. So if we go into our album, we have the album menu so that you can see we are in custom firmware and if we go into the settings, go all the way down to system, you will see that we are here on version 20.2.0 with Atmosphere 1.9.2. Alright guys, I hope you liked this video. Make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and I hope I'll see you in the next video. My name is Hugh, don't forget to smile. Peace.